안녕하세요. 제 이름은 나미입니다. Hi, it's Nami, and today I am going to do my nails for you, kind of like a do my nails with me type video. I don't know what I'm planning. <laughs> I've done eight of my fingers already, but these two I left for the video because literally it takes me anywhere between two and a half to five hours for me to do my nails with gel. I didn't want to do the full set on. video because last time it was very very tiring and even now I'm very tired it's already 2 40 a.m. because I've literally been sitting here since 11 I'm gonna use my file this one is pretty dirty it's also a grit of 100 which is the coarsest that I could find I'm gonna start by filing my nail and I'm filing down to where my previous builder gel is, which means I'm just gonna file until I don't see the color anymore. If you have a shellac or if you have just a gel colored polish on top of your natural nail, I would recommend soaking it instead of filing it. But for me, I actually have clear nail enhancements made of bio gel or like structural gel underneath the color. So I am going to remove by filing. Next, I'm gonna take my next grittiest file and this one is 180 over 180 and I just like to take this over top and I do go over my natural nail with this one gently and I use this to smooth everything down and make sure there's no white chunks I find these edges don't really have to be flush to the natural nail I just want to make sure that there are no white lifting areas so this one also is uneven because of the way that it cracked. So I'm just gonna file it down and even it out. I'm using 220. Some alcohol, clean off my two nails. You can see this one is a lot shorter than my index finger. So I'm going to put a little bit of a form to help create the shape onto my nail. This is actually my first time using a form. Second time technically, because I used one just now on my pinky as well, because I had a little bit of a chip there. Also to help me bond, I'm going to use my base coat foundation from Jellish. Let's throw it in the light. I'm throwing on my UV structure gel that I got off eBay. I'm like halfway through this now. I'm gonna take another glob for the tip. I'm not sure how long I want it to be. The more the better. I learned this from Susie of Nail Career. I really love her videos. I've been watching them a lot lately. You know Susie? Even though I don't use acrylic, and even though I'm not a nail technician, I find a lot of helpful tips from her videos where she talks about the shape of the nail, how to keep them healthy, the types of files to use, and I kind of key in on like how she holds her tools too. That's especially important for anything like hair, nails, makeup, the way that you hold your tools, the way that you're holding your brushes or your equipment, it makes a huge difference on how comfortable you are applying that. Throw it in the microwave, but I'm holding my hand at the bottom of this tissue box because I don't want a heat spike where your fingernails get really hot from the gel while it's curing. So I created this tissue box DIY for my $5 eBay UV light. It works really well. While we're waiting, check out what I have so far. Oh my gosh, I love this design. I've been really inspired by Nail Tamina lately. She's the nail artist for some of the girls' generation girls. She does a lot of these kind of bling bling designs. And I've also been inspired by like Korean nail artists where they incorporate a lot of clear opacities in the nail art. So that's what we're doing today. Hey girl, let me talk to you. If I was boyfriend, I never let you go. Keep you. You can tell when it's a good shape when it has that nice arch to it, right at the highest point of the nail. That's called the apex. I like to make it a little bit thicker so that I can actually file it down. Oh my gosh, there's like gel everywhere. Oh my gosh, this is. <laughs> Guys, look. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Look at that. Well, we're gonna file this guy off. Goodbye. There it is, this little chunky guy. Before I go and file the rest, I'm going to clean my nail 
with alcohol because it's very sticky right now. I'm using my 100 over 100 again, and I'm just going to make sure my arch is okay. Oh my gosh, it's so crystal clear and beautiful. Look at this crystal clear nail. I mean, it's full of dust right now, but it's so pretty. Susie says the key to filing is to keep the file moving. It's kind of like when you're blow drying hair. You want to keep the dryer moving so you don't burn your client. With the file, you keep the file moving so that you don't burn the finger, but also the shape becomes nice and round and smooth instead of like blocky. I'm gonna clean off my nail again. Okay, so I'm gonna take a pink because I've been using blue so far and gold. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do a rounded French tip on this guy right here. For the jewel design, I'm going to layer a layer of the UV Biogel again, the Structure Strong Gel. Just enough so it gives something for the jewels to adhere to. And I'm going to put a quick layer of No Wipe Top Coat. I learned this trick from Susie. <laughs> she caught it from a trade show. And I'm going to throw my gems on. So I'm going to use flower for these guys. Blah, blah. Okay, I think I only have enough space for one flower. Ooh, maybe I can fit two. <gasps> can I fit two? Will it fit? Yes, it fits. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. So I'm just going to hold these stable by nuking it for like five seconds. I'm going to throw some no wipe top coat just on the side. to set all of these guys. Okay, I'm gonna solidify these guys for like five seconds. And then I'm gonna nuke the whole nail after putting a top coat on my pink. That's basically what I did for the rest of these nails, but it took a really long time. It would probably take a shorter time going to the nail salon, but I mean, this cost me nothing compared to going to a nail salon, so. Might as well do it myself if I already splurged on these cheap products. Life of Nami. When I get into a hobby, it's like full out. How about you? What kind of hobbies do you have? Are they inexpensive? Because sometimes my hobbies can get quite pricey. Top coat onto my pink. I have a feeling I already did this, but another layer won't hurt. I'm gonna nuke everything and I'm gonna nuke the flowers for an extra two minutes. This was the same as my Japanese watercolor clear tips, like huge one inch nails. It took five hours for me to do those. It's taking me five hours for me to do these, but I love them. I still love them. I really love them. They're so pretty. And when I do my nails in gel, they last a good like long time, like three weeks, four weeks. Yay. Let me go wash my hands and show you what they look like. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I've been doing my nails for a good five hours now so i'm very tired i'd very very much appreciate if you choose to become part of our nacho fam by hitting that subscribe and bell notification button right below i also post daily stories on my instagram photos here and there so you can definitely check me out on these platforms if these are platforms that you use our merch is out don't forget to grab your merch and i'll see you next time bye i should wave like this bye they feel a little bit heavy but you can't really feel them that much oh my gosh <laughs> bye